Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 66. Let's go ahead and get started. His grace has had a terrible fever since he got back yesterday, and his condition worsened this afternoon. But he's never fallen ill after such short warning. Your Grace? His Grace is still in the, in the Annex, isn't he? Is he still unconscious? Um, Serfinia said there are cases like this. I'll bet rare. I'll bet. I'm sure he'll wake up soon. But it's already been two days. The seizures he was having the night before, before stopped last dawn, but he still hasn't regained consciousness yet. The sullen air around the residence feels even heavier. The looks on their faces tell me things have gotten even worse. Uh, what if he never wakes up again? Was that conversation our last? But there's something I want to tell him. Oh, he smokes? Huh? <coughs> Your grace! Don't mind me. Um, how are things going so far? Um... There are too many documents to tend to. Some need to be submitted to the palace by tomorrow, and we also need to take care of matters back in the Grand Dukedom, since His Grace has been away for a rather long. Um, the former Grand Duchess has taken the lead, but it is rather frustrating. Misfortunes never come singly, do they? Singly. Well, that too, but... I was asking how the Grand Duke is. Oh, right, uh... He is still unconscious. An imperial secretary came and demanded to know why his grace did not come to the imperial meeting. But I couldn't say that he was ill. And the secretary kept repeating the same thing even when I tried to make an ac acceptable excuse. I thought my ears were going to bleed. I bet they'll be silent as the the grave had his grace. Wait, I bet they'll be silent as the grave had his grace been present. Okay, there's really nothing agreeable about those in the palace. Not to mention, his grace became becomes rather strange when he stays in the palace for more than a day. Huh? Forgive, forgive me, your grace. A lot must be on your mind right already. Has this ever happened before? Pardon? Oh, well, only twice. He didn't have any seizures back then, but he was in serious condition. He fell the moment he got out of the carriage. <gasps> he was in a sleep for an entire day. Is it possible that He's allergic to the princess or whatever's in the palace. He's been very sensitive since then. All the maids serving him by his side even pleaded that I change their position. They said that they were scared to be near him. He changed his gloves even when a maid's hand slightly touched him while he, she gave him tea. And as for the female knights he had by his side, he sent them all away. Perhaps he fears or despises women or he wishes to avoid them. Or maybe it's all three. That's what everyone thought. At first, we only thought he was on edge because it had been long since he arrived in the capital. And marriage proposals from the princess came daily. But looking back, I'm certain something bad had happened in the palace. Because it seems as if his grace had been drugged. His immune says he's immune to poison, so it was rather odd that he fell like that. I wouldn't say that he looked ill either. 
but I may be mistaken, of course. Oh, but please, this is to be kept secret, Your Grace. Actually, His Grace told me not to tell anyone. Even my father doesn't know. Oh, even that? Yes, His Grace came to the ha ca capital alone at the time. Come to think of it, His Grace became much better when it was decided that he'd be marrying you. But he'd be he'd be been struggling so much before. So this happened before he met me. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 66. Well, look who we have here. It's a pleasure to finally see you. Welcome to the capital. Surely you've heard about the marriage proposal, have you not? She's my daughter. Of course, but I can tell you, she's a suitable match for you. And she won't fall ill again, rest assured. The Imperial doctor confirmed she's perfectly cured. Producing air won't be a problem. Duh. Oh, is that so? Well, that's a shame. My daughter has been looking forward to, you, to it, though. But surely, a man ought to see the lady in person when he turns her down. He's insisting that I see her, even until the very end. And what's the smell? Um, I beg your pardon, your grace, for daring to speak to you, but... I I've been looking up to you. I wish I could become as amazing person as you. My head hurts. What happened? Why did I... Huh? My body? Oh. That king is so messed up. I want to have your child. Are you all right? Narshati. Was that a dream or was that like a memory of the past? Like that princess and that king is disgusting. Like, he got drugged, and I hope he didn't, like... Oh my gosh, that's traumatizing. Alright guys, I gotta head on out. My baby is waking up. Um, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!